Um, I, I, I found the, the ambition of it really interesting. Um, the thing that made me want to take it was the character looked like a lot of fun. Uh, Cleon, I get to play every season a different character because um, I play a sequence of cloned Emperors of the Galaxy. So as the, um, as the conditions in the galaxy change, so do these, these cloned emperors. Um, so I find that really interesting. I find power interesting. I find kind of this um, masculine aggression interesting. Um, and this character is, uh, examines those ideas in a way that I find compelling. So that's why, that's why I dove in. What about you? I, for, I wasn't familiar. <laughs> what are you staring at me? I wasn't familiar with the books before I... <laughs> no, he's teasing me. Very serious. Hey. <laughs> so I, got the, I, I read the scripts before I read the books, and I kind of like just was in awe of the, the grandness of it all. Like, it's a... It's a huge, it's an adventure. It's a wild, huge galaxy with these men ruling the whole galaxy and then 25,000 year old robot kind of behind the scenes controlling it all. It was just fun and entertaining. And yet at the same time, it's so ambitious. It's kind of, it's very highly intellectual. So there were so many layers that I was in awe immediately when, when I got to read the scripts. I mean, I guess I would, it, it, I mean, what I would say is that um, at the time Asimov wrote it, he is more of a neutral, okay? uh, you know, it's like it, it, the, the pronoun that he chose is a neutral pronoun. Um, it's used in that way as opposed to a gendered pronoun. Um, he can be gendered if he's talking about a character that has, that is a man and has masculine traits, and she can be gendered if that's, if that's the way. But I think the he, as it was written, is, is uh, it, it can be interpreted as a neutral. Um, and I, and I, f I, I find that really interesting. If you l look at Anne Leckie's books, uh, Ancillary Justice and all of those, she takes she as a neutral pronoun for, for both men and women. Um, so I, I think the, cho the choice made a lot of sense to me as a fan of science fiction um, being depicted on today's screen. Is that and as an actress, I, I I'm so happy we're living this kind of era where where we have more and more amazing female characters and kind of like so I think because also like yeah you, you said it, it, the 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 pronoun could be neutral and meaning like also women like throughout the time have been thinking about the same questions about. What is the meaning of life? What is the purpose? How do we, what, what do we leave as a legacy for the generations to come? Like there are questions that concern all the genders, I think. So it's, I think mm -hmm. it's important that we have a cast of, of kind of every, every kind of person to, to go through those. And it's questions. also like, you know, this is an adaptation of a great book. The book stands on by itself. Mm. The books yeah. can and will stand by themselves. Mm. There's no extra credit for getting everything exactly right as the books had written. They're their own thing. This is its. This is, it's not a book report. This is this is its own creation. You know that is based upon those books. So we would be fumbling the ball if we were um, rigidly keeping to something that was written 50 years ago. This is a story about change and adaptation. Um, mm. So, and time, that's a huge character in our story, is time. Uh, the huge time jump, jumps we, ma we, we, we make throughout the story. This book was written in the, in the 40s. So a lot of time has passed. The world is a different place. 